swimming around in there. I to, I, everyone I talked to was talking about this video. It everyone really is I making the rounds. Oh, yes, it I is. I mean, it was on the BBC, I think I saw. Like, uh, I don't know if it was really? actually on the channel, but on the social media, oh, it made it all the way up there. Can you so. imagine, though, walking outside? And, of course, you know, I have a screen around my pool. So you think that they know the So boundaries. did this one. You think, yeah. but that doesn't happen. I no. guess they can break through screens. They can do anything just to get to where They're they learning. want to go. <laughs> <laughs> scary, scary thought. At any rate, do, do look before you leave. Yeah. Great plan, Definitely. great plan. Look at this weather. This is what we experienced uh, throughout the day today. Just nothing but fair skies, and in some cases, no cloud cover whatsoever. It was just a beautiful day, and as you can see, our tower cam showing you, Sarasota Bay Cam is showing you what happened out on the waterways, a lot of people taking advantage, and being outdoors and enjoying all of that gorgeous, gorgeous Gulf of Mexico and the bays. It was just a beautiful day to be outside. So that's what happened today. And we have that drier air sitting on top of us as a result of that cold front that came through yesterday. Any rain that we have been getting is staying away from the coast. So we've been getting some showers, widely scattered light rains for the most part. And that's been taking place east of I-75. And we are going to continue with this unseasonably warm weather over the next couple of days. So what we've got right now is we've got this drier air and you can see it just moving all the way down through through to the southern part of the state. We have pockets of some, a little more moisture, but for the most part, the wet weather that we're seeing across parts of the Ohio Valley, that's all moving very quickly. This is snow, ice, sleet, rain, all moving off towards the northeast. And then we're getting just these light rains that have taken place along the east coast of Florida. And then because of the sea breeze from the east to the west coast, or from the, coming from the east coast and meeting up with the ones from the west coast, we're getting some of these showers that are taking place east of I-75, and they're going to dissipate pr pretty quickly tonight. Once they do, moving off towards the north, and then we'll see them move away. And so what we're looking at for us along the coastline primarily is mostly fair skies, and any rain that should be taking place will happen east of I-75. And this is what it looks like over the next several hours and into the nighttime hours. We've got these rain showers again well away from the coastline, dissipating, and then we get partly cloudy skies throughout the nighttime period. And during the afternoon hours tomorrow, a few showers to the north, a few showers to the south, but we're going to be pretty quiet along the west coast of Florida for tomorrow. High pressure is going to be sitting on top of us. We have unseasonably warm air that we're also going to be getting because those winds have shifted around. They're coming in out of the south, and that's really going to help to warm us up. And we're going to see our temperatures in the mid 80s for some locations across the area. Today we got up to a high of 83, 65 was the overnight low. Normally this time of the year, 59, 78, that's what we should be seeing. And so our temperature differences have been pretty great, especially east. And what we're looking at are 5, 10, 12 degree differences, whereas at the coastline, not much of a change, but you move into the interior part of the state and you really are seeing those changes. So earlier in the day, these are some of the temperatures that we saw, 84 in Arcadia, 89 in Punta Gorda, along the west coast temperatures in the low 80s and then these are the temperatures right now 86 in Arcadia, Wachula 82, and here at the beaches we're looking at very comfortable conditions with readings in the upper 70s. Tomorrow we get right back up to nearly 80 degrees. These temperatures will see 80s tomorrow, and if you're heading to the beach, we are looking at those winds coming in out of the southeast at 10 knots, seas 1 to 2 feet, and a light chop out on the bay. So over the next seven days, we're going to keep those temperatures on the warm side in the 80s through Wednesday. Another cool front comes in, just slightly changing our temperatures were back up into the 80s just in time for next weekend. Looks pretty good. Adam?